Okay, Janners are here. I'm at the AV1 coming out party here in Las Vegas. I'm with Ann Aaron, who's D Director of Encoding Algorithms at Netflix. Hi, Jen. Hey, thank you for joining us. What are you here celebrating tonight? So we're celebrating the launch of AV1. So tell me about that. What, is, what does the launch mean? When is it going to be usable? When are you going to use it? So, you know, a, a bunch of companies have been working together to develop the AV1 standard through the Alliance for Open Media, so I'm happy that it's finally here. Um, we're looking to use it by this year, by end of 2018. You know, we've, we at Netflix, we've integrated it into our pipeline, um, integrated it into our shop-based encoding framework, and we see really good results. So we, we hope that decoders, browsers can start playing them so we can deploy our streams. Okay, so you were saying before that you saw great results at 720p at 300 kilobits per second? Yeah, it's actually 200 kilobits per second. So, so what, why is that, where is that relevant? Is that India and third world markets or is that everywhere? Yeah, everywhere where, you know, bandwidth is scarce. And uh, for other places in the world where people have data caps, um, you know, you buy a one gigab gigabyte plan like the Philippines or India, that's very important. Okay. So more shows. What are you seeing as, um, I love your Jessica Jones uh, <laughs> demo, by the way. <laughs> What are you seeing in terms of encoding time and decode requirements? Yeah, so encoding time right now, it's still very, very slow. Um, the Alliance for Open Media focused on the standardization of the tools and not really the implementation. But I'm, I'm hopeful and I know that I expect the complexity to go down. So uh, probably around five to ten times more complex than VP9. That's what we're expecting or that's, if, if it's at, around that range, that's okay with us. So Netflix, I mean, I guess your policy, if I was going to paraphrase it, is to serve every customer on every platform. What does this mean for HEVC, if anything? Oh, we're, we still have HEVC, especially for our 4K and HDR uh, customers. So we're still, we still have it. Have you started looking at, the, well, I'm sure you've started looking at it, but are, what are you doing with HEVC within the context of HLS? Uh, we are, right now we're sticking with our 4K and HDR customers for HEVC. Okay. Listen, I don't want to take too much of your time. It's a fun party. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.